What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the Don't Get Nailed podcast, the podcast that teaches you how not to get nailed by life, or in other words, get screwed by life. I'm your host, Chris Moe. I'm a high-ticket salesman here in Los Angeles. I do over $5 million in construction sales. I own over 30 ATMs and do a bunch of cool business stuff. I do this podcast because I'm on the pursuit to financial abundance, time, freedom, and joy, aka I'm trying to make a lot of money with y'all. I want to do whatever I want, whenever I want, while being joyful. For today's episode, I got a special treat for y'all. It is the end of 2023 and we're going into 2024. It's just a couple of days in now. I'm pretty sure by the time this episode drops, we are going to be in 2024. So I'm filming whatever, December 27th, I think. I don't even know what day it is. I'm on vacation until January 2nd, but vacationing means still getting everything ready for the new year. Hence today's episode because in today's episode i'm gonna go ahead and do what i like to do every single year i'm going and touching my ipad because i need to take notes for this stuff because podcasting is a lot harder than people think it's a lot of planning that goes behind it so i don't want to just get on this whole entire thing and not talk about something that's really going to be worth of value for you guys so for today's episode we're going to be talking about a couple of different things we're going to review 2023 and see how i did based on my three goals that I had. I'm going to help you guys see why you guys probably didn't complete your goals, why I didn't complete one of my goals, what you could do to go ahead and complete your goals in 2024 and how I set my goals for 2024 and what are my goals for 2024 because 2024 is going to be even more crazier than 2023. So Let's jump right into it and talk about 2023. See, for 2023, I had only three goals. My first goal was to make over $150,000 per the year. And then I also had a second goal, which was for this YouTube channel, was to get 1,000 subscribers. And lastly, I wanted to double my ATM business. At the time that I wrote this, I had about eight machines. Now, for these goals in 2023, I set them because there were things that I wanted to do. Now, for the goal of $150,000, I made that goal. I think I made about 180, 190, close to $200,000 this year. The most amount of money that I've ever made in this year. Honestly, I'm not surprised. Every single year I keep making, making more and more money. And I know as time goes by, as I learn more skills, I learn how to be a better version of myself. I'm going to continue to make more money. Now this thing is getting very, very easy where making $100,000, I don't even have to blink. And it's so easy to even do that now I'm actually teaching someone else how to make a hundred thousand dollars very very easily and i think in the beginning of the year he's going to be right on track to break his first six figures next year i'm so happy for the guy so i got that and pretty much go over completing it and how i got to these goals things like that now the thousand subscribers i didn't hit a thousand subscribers i only hit 600 but i did learn a lot in regards of content creation youtube planning video planning video scripting all these little things that make a good video i invested a lot of time just learning the skill and I didn't really go all in on YouTube and this is the probably the reason why I didn't hit a thousand subscribers was because I didn't go all in because I know when I go all in and I wasn't going all in I was probably going all in better than what most people do because I was posting at least one time a day every single day there were some hiccups here and there where I wouldn't post and I'll tell you the reason why I didn't and how we're gonna overcome that and how 2024 we are gonna hit our thousand subscribers either way I failed on this goal. It is what it is. I'm not that happy about it, but I am happy of the progress that I made, the skills that I learned this year, because I know 2024, I'm going to go all in on this whole YouTube thing and it's going to take off. Now for the last goal, which was doubling my ATM business, I did double my ATM business. I had eight ATMs and I doubled that to 16 ATMs, wait, 30 ATMs. I triple is that a triple i think that's a triple i don't know math somebody do the math for me eight to thirty but i think i have over 30 as a matter of fact but i did double my business and that was a simple move in behalf of just having the right relationship at the right time and showing my worth to that person because it wasn't just because of me it was because i am connected to the right person that i was able to double my atm business double my passive income altogether so so did I complete my goals for 2023? Did you guys complete your goals for 2023? I don't know, but 
you probably didn't. A lot of people don't complete their 2023 goals. They don't even do like a little review of how their year went like I do. In fact, they just go into the new year thinking that life's going to be better. They don't recap of, of, okay, where did I mess up throughout the year? Where could I have done better? Like, this is how you grow. This is how you become better. You have to look at your actions, where your actions reflecting what your outcome should have been. So I wrote down a couple of reasons why I didn't set my 2023 goals, why I didn't get my 2023 goals, which was only one. And what I could do in 2024 to get those goals because they go hand in hand. This isn't like rocket science where every single year there's going to be like new obstacles and headaches and all this. Most majority of the time getting to your goals just requires constant repetition, consistency. That's it. But if you eliminate these couple of things or just do these little things, getting to your goals is going to be fairly, fairly easy. So the first reason why I didn't get to my goal, which was just getting a thousand subscribers or why some of you guys probably didn't get your goals is because people lie to themselves, dude. You lie to yourself. I lie to myself. This is what I tell people. You can lie to me. You can lie to your friends. You can lie to your mom, your dad. You can lie to everyone, but you cannot lie to yourself. The moment you stop lying to yourself, you will be able to achieve anything that you want. What do I mean? There's times where people go ahead and say, oh, I'm going to go ahead and get in shape, right? I'm going to quit alcohol. And they do it for one, two, three weeks, and then they go back, right? They lie to themselves. Or let's say, for example, even the littlest things where they say, oh, I'm going to wake up at 5.30. And then they'll use an excuse and woke up at 6, 6.30, slowly 7, and slowly they'll go back into their regular routine. They're lying to themselves. You lie to yourself whenever you say you're going to do something and you don't. The moment you stop lying to yourself is the moment you are going to progress and get whatever it is that you want. Stop lying to yourself. And this is literally one of the things that I had to go over one of the guys that I'm coaching right now where I gave him homework and I've been giving him this homework for the last three, four weeks telling him, hey, we got to get this done. We got to get this done. We got to get this done. Doesn't get it done. Doesn't get it done. It wasn't until the last meeting where I showed up with nothing unprepared, like whatever. And I told him, look, honestly, before coming into the meeting, I already knew you didn't do anything. I already knew it. And this is a guy that is disciplined, is on his stuff and is not at level zero, but is on his stuff. And I'm thinking to myself, working with this guy should be really, really easy. But even even getting him to do the dauntiest task, the dauntiest task that he's not accustomed to doing, he's failing. And he's failing because he's lying to himself. Not lying to me because, yeah, you're going to tell me, hey, I'm going to do this then and I'm going to do it now and it's going to be due here. But if you're not going to do what you say you're going to do, you're just lying to yourself. So that's a couple of examples. Go ahead and stop lying to yourself. Just keep reminding yourself whenever you say you're going to do something and you don't do it, that's a lot. That's a lot. That's a lie. Stop lying. That's why I don't lie anymore. <laughs> the next thing is 80% of people fail their New Year's resolution within the first month. It's a matter of how you start. Starting off the year right matters. And this is why I'm making the video today, Wednesday, December 27th, because I want to start my year off right. Now, I didn't hit my 1,000 subscribers goals because I didn't post enough, because I didn't take this thing seriously. So if I need to take this thing seriously with everything else that I do, I have to be a head of the game meaning i have to record these videos probably like two months out i have to record these videos two months out because i want to hold a commitment to myself and to you guys where i post at least two long form videos every single month and i post my short form clips once a day every day without missing a day for my short form clips i have to be at least like 20 days out and for my long form i need to be at least two months out that way there is no way that i can fail and be behind on schedule that's why i'm taking this whole entire week off of running my regular appointments to just create content and create these long form videos and do a lot more research so i have a game plan going into the month like the way my brain thinks is i'm already three months in january February, march i already know what i'm going to be doing and that's what some people don't realize is you have to plan ahead before the ahead gets there does that even make sense like most people start planning their 2024 at the beginning of like january 1 january 2 january 3 january 5 some people january 10th if you want to get ahead of the curve and you want to make sure that you actually achieve your 2024 goals you have to start now usually it's best to start like the beginning of december the second week of december or like me the last week of december that's the best time to plan your goals so when you plan out your goals you make it easier 
to go ahead and achieve them. Now, in the first couple of days, I'll tell you this, the first January 2nd, all the way up to like the 15th, people go ahead and hit it hard and no days missing. And it's not until the 15th day that people actually start to drop off on their goals. I think it's like, what, it's 80% of the people fail within the first month. That means about like 50% of people fail within like the second week. It's like that. I actually hate the fact that New Year's and my birthday are around the same freaking time because that means I can't really celebrate my birthday and normally I don't celebrate my birthday, which kind of sucks. But then again, that's something else. I don't use my birthday as an excuse of why I am going to start the year off right. That's why I prefer not to celebrate my birthday in January because I would rather stick to my goals and get this thing going because I can always celebrate my birthday any other time that I want. So you have to make sure you get your first month correct and that is just due to pre-planning go ahead and join a group join a friend have someone find you like keep you accountable to making sure that you achieve your goals dude that's the way you cannot fail within the first month as long as you get through the first month and then you recycle your vision on your 2024 around the third sixth month i do it every single quarter like i have quarterly meetings with myself and that's how i keep myself accountable to making sure that i achieve my 2024 goals and see okay what do i have to do now to make sure that i do get so start off right what could you have done differently how how am I going to commit to them? Look, the easiest way to commit to your goals is to set micro goals. Like, let's say, for example, one of my goals for next year is to hit these 1,000 subscribers. So I am at 600 subscribers. I, help me do math. I'm sucky at math. 600 minus it's 400 subscribers left divided by 12 months. 400 divided by 12. Where's my freaking phone? So it's about 33 subscribers a month, which is kind of what I'm averaging, to be quite honest with you. I'm about subscribing about like I was subscribed about one subscriber a day. It's about one subscriber a day. Let's say that. I got to get at least one subscriber every single day. And that's why posting one short every single day and posting two long forms every two weeks is going to make sure that I get there. So if you cut down your goals into like months and then into days, that's how you can set micro goals. They sound more achievable that way. So one number one thing is make sure that you set micro goals. You could do this for even like your health. Like say, for example, you're trying to lose weight. Say you are weighing what I weigh, freaking 180 pounds. And I want to drop down to 170. Drop down to 170, that's 10 pounds pounds on average you can lose about like one pound a week so one two three four in about three months let's say give or take that i'll lose all that so i just gotta make sure that i take it one day at a time so that's actually another rule i should have put on one day at a time rule like to not mess up your whole first month is you have to take it one day at a time when you start looking at the fact that oh my god i'm going into a whole another new year this year is going to be long it's going to be 365 days that's a lot 365 is a lot you want to just take it one day at a time. Don't think about, oh, I'm going to be perfect for 365 days. Think about, I'm going to be perfect today. That's how I do it. This is what works for myself. That's why every single day is a new day, whether I have a bad day or a good day. The next day is undetermined. It's not going to be based on what happened in the past. It's not going to be what's going to happen in the future without me taking the right actions that day. So take it day by day. Make sure you complete all your tasks for just that one day. And then the next day, the next day, take it one day at a time. That's how I remind myself. Just do it one day at a time, Chris. You have to set your non-negotiable. What do I mean by that? Your non-negotiable. These are things that you are going to do no matter what. Like you keep hearing me about posting one time a day, every single day. This is my non-negotiable. I don't care what I have to do. I have to post a video every single day. Short, I have to post two times every single month. And I'm going to set dates for myself. These are non-negotiables. These are things that I have to do every single day. Other non-negotiables I have for myself is waking up early. I have to wake up at 5.30 a.m. every single day. Every single day. That's why next year, going into next year, I'm going to stop partying so much, stop drinking so much, and really stick to a disciplined lifestyle. So you have to have non-negotiables. Waking up, going to the gym, eating right. These are all non-negotiables that you should live by. If you want to create content, making sure that you have one post ready every single day. Let's say if you want to lose weight, making sure that you have non-negotiables of like not drinking, not drinking soda, not eating these bad things. These are non-negotiables and you stick to your non-negotiables and you don't lie to yourself. 
So make sure you have your non-negotiables with yourself. Get rid of toxic friends. Dude, I'm at the point in my life where if you don't bring me value, bro, I don't even want you in my life. Not saying that if you're a loser, you're a level zero, and you want to change your life, I'm not going to talk to you. Of course, I will. Like, I love helping people. But if you're toxic, bro, if you don't want better for yourself, if you're not on the grind, we're probably not going to get along. So you go do life over there by yourself, and I'm going to do life over here. No who's right, who's wrong. Like, I'm just doing me. So for people, People that are always looking at life like it's against them. People who think that they're not making money because there's no possibility to make a lot of money. People who want to stay in the same shape that they want to be in. People who have trouble with other friends. People who talk shit about other friends. People who have just dramatic issues. All these little toxic traits, like, I don't want to be a part of that. Like, I am ready to cut people off left and right. I don't even think about it anymore. I really don't even think about it. Like, I have enough friends in my circle with the ones that I have currently. In fact, you shouldn't even have so many, like, close, close friends. People should know you, but you should not have that many friends. If anything, I keep telling people, you should have at least 10 good, solid friends. And it's good to even cut those people off later and get a better friend. So, get rid of your toxic friends, friends that are just playing video games, smoking weed, going out to parties, not reading, not learning, not doing all these things. If you get rid of them and you yourself go through a period of just being better, being a better version of yourself, you will slowly realize that you will attract better friends. And I, I already told you guys where you can get better friends already too. I can be your friend. Just message me. No problem to have internet friends. People are crazy when they say, oh, well, you have friends on the internet. Like, who cares, bro? Who cares? You can have internet friends, friends that are not always there. Like, I have friends now all over different states different parts of the world that are doing cool business shit and that's the friends that i want to be so get rid of your toxic friends and the last thing that i want to put is to be realistic on your goals too for 2024 some people put some unrealistic goals on their list where like how are you gonna go from being let's say this is exaggerated how are you gonna go from going 250 pounds and go down to like 120 pounds right that's over 100 pounds difference in less than three months i have some people say say that right that's unrealistic or let's say for example a lot of people when it comes to money they'll say i'm gonna make a million year a million dollars the next year which by the way is possible but very 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 unlikely like if you've never even made a hundred thousand bro how are you gonna make a million like how does that even make sense maybe you get lucky because there are some people that get really really lucky but 98 percent of the time that's not you bro i know that's not me like the way I'm going to be successful is going to be the old school way of just fucking learning and hitting the ground and just working and I'll get there, dude. I'm not even rushing it because I know I'm going to get there. Stop rushing it. Be realistic on your goals and your first target, if anything, I tell people is first learn to make $1,000, then learn to make five, then learn how to make 10, then learn how to make 15, then you go to 20. And then from 20, you can make a jump to 30. Then you can make a jump to all the way to 50. And then from 50 to 100. And then from 100 all the way to 300. And then to 300 to 500. And then from 500 to a million. Those are the jumps that you want to get to. If anything, some other jumps that people say is get to first 100. You can even do get to 50, 50,000. Then get to 100,000. From 100,000, do go to 200, 250,000. And then from 250, go to half a million. And then from half a million, a million. And dude, at that point, you've already made it. What more do you want? So those are the numbers you want to stick to. Those are the numbers that you want to jump to. I'm at the point where I'm at the 200 mark where I'm ready to make a 500 jump. If anything, I'm shooting for a 300 jump next year. That's actually my goal for next year for income for income i want to double my income it's a really hard goal i don't want to say that it's unrealistic or unachievable because i have the means to achieve it and i think i can i know i can i will make three hundred thousand dollars next year double what i made this year how Make more sales, baby. That's it. Make more sales. Make more sales everywhere. That's literally how I'm going to make my $300 income. And the only reason I don't hit that already is because I'm inconsistent. I just know that. I'm inconsistent because I enjoy life too much. That's really it. But it's because I'm on my own time, not on somebody else's time. And money is just a matter of a freaking number. Well, I'll get there when I get there. I don't want this game to ever end. So who cares, bro? I'm still freaking young. I got a hell of, of a lot more years to make as much money as I possibly freaking can. The world's never going to change and end. I believe so. The game's never going to end. It's just a matter of just keeping and trying. And honestly, just learning these new skills is pretty, pretty enticing. Like learning how to freaking set up these cameras, setting up thumbnails, coming up with business, like the video ideas. All this is really, really fun. And I know when I get there, I'm going to be like, damn, 
that was the fun part. Now it's very like different. So those are a couple of tips that I wanted to give you for achieving your goals in 2024 and probably why you didn't achieve your goals in 2023. So how do we set goals for 2024? Look, I'm a believer when it comes to setting goals to not set too many goals. People set too many freaking goals. Like, I want to do this. I want to do that. Blah, blah, blah. Like, no, dude. You want to just set three goals. That's it. No more than three goals. If anything, if you really want to make sure you hit your freaking goal and you're at level freaking zero, set one goal. Just one. Just one goal. Don't set too many goals because you're barely developing a habit of becoming a freaking winner set one goal and then you can set three goals and then when you get to my level you can set five goals i have five freaking goals some of these goals i'll be able to knock out really quickly because they go hand in hand with the other goals but normally 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 every single year i set three goals just three because i don't want my mind to be all over the place and as long as i hit my three goals i'm happy and i can say that i had a great freaking year so my goals for 2024 is to get a thousand subscribers and to get monetized you see i made it a little bit harder compared to last year because last year all i wanted to do was get a thousand subscribers that's it but i want to get a thousand subscribers and get monetized what does that mean dude i'm 400 subscribers away from getting my thousand subscribers but i am a a hundred hours of watch time to get monetized. I want both of them. And that's how I'm going to achieve my goals by making sure that these long fours actually hit, making sure that you guys are entertained, making sure you guys get value out of these things because I want you to continue to come back and learn some more. So if you haven't done so already, guys, please, so you can save me time and therapy, go ahead and hit the subscribe button, hit the like button and Please share this with any of your friends that you actually care about that want to change their life and that don't want to get nailed by life. See how I come up with this stuff? I don't even know how I did that. But make sure you guys subscribe. I need to hit the thousand and I need to get it monetized. That's my goal because this is my dream. This is what I want. This is what I want to be. I want to be an influencer. I want to be a YouTuber. And money is what I do on the other side. But this is what I like to do. That's why I don't like to make this into a job type of thing. I create content for what I want, for what I want to go ahead and talk about. I don't want to freaking follow an algorithm them all the time so i kind of choose and do whatever i want so if you like it you like it if not then it is what it is i would rather have smaller valuable subscribers who actually care about me than have a lot of pointless subscribers that are just there for entertainment and yeah no and i'm also not going to create a fake character i don't want to create a fake character my character already my persona is already freaking cool like if you meet me in person i'm exactly the same exact same way i'm funny i'm brilliant i'm good looking and i just say dumb shit all the time but i say smart dumb shit when i have to and i get shit done so that's that my second goal which i mentioned earlier is to make three hundred thousand dollars in income how am i gonna do this dude if I think about it this way, right, I've made about 170000 in just commission sales for the roofing company, and I didn't even had a good start. Like, I was like three months into the year. So with those three months, I think I would have done 200 But I need to at least make 200 I can't do anything less than 200 and just commission sales for roofing. That covers two-thirds of the goal. My ATMs, once paid off, should be making me about 36000 for the year. I'll be at 236 and I'm getting a new location. Maybe, hopefully, that puts me at, let's say, 240 240 with what I currently have going on as long as I'm on my shit. I'm missing about 70, right? I have a new partnership with somebody who's doing online personal training and I'm trying to take his business from regular training to online and mix match and help him say sell things online because another goal that I had was to buy another business or maybe a property right so I'm thinking about buying another business and I'm kind of buying myself into this business by the amount of work that I do for the guy I don't charge him anything I'm doing everything completely free because he himself is very very valuable and I want to go ahead and build his business I'm going to get him to six figures in real life first and then once I go ahead and do that we're going to focus on the online stuff because for me when i'm looking at all these different businesses one of the things that i'm noticing is that when it comes to physical like location businesses like roofing atms it's very like people intense and it's very like central located like what do i mean i can't leave la and like the business is going to be running itself unless i grow it really big right but the best business overall that i've noticed 
with everything is personal branding and online businesses. You can figure out the formula of personal branding and online business and have a mixture of both. Dude, you can do whatever it is that you want in life. And you don't even have to make a lot of money. People don't realize you don't have to make too much money. Like if you budget your shit out, you can live a really extravagant life. But I need to go into the online business space now because it's still early and I want to get into it. And this is the future. This is where we're going, especially for my generation that is half not even working yet. And for the future generation, businesses online is going to be great. So if you build the foundation, now in the future it will pay its long-term dividends so if you're thinking about creating a business think about something in the online space trust me you will not regret it it's a little bit harder it does take a little bit more capital so again as you watch this podcast i'll show you how i do it and what i'm doing like if you really pay attention all i'm doing is i make sales with my real life earnings and then i just go ahead and dump it reinvest it back into the atms and now to the online business and that's what i got to do for like the next coming years where i keep my expenses as low as i possibly can i make a shit little money i reinvest it back into other ways to make more money and soon enough it's gonna compound it's gonna compound one day where i no longer have to work because i make enough money to live my very extravagant lifestyle that i want which is not even very very far i've already done my numbers so online space if i can figure that out there's people making 10 20 30 50 thousand dollars in the online space I've seen it. I've been around those people. It's possible. I know it's possible and I'm going to do it. So I'm working on that as we speak. So hopefully that takes into account the last, I want to say a hundred thousand. That's like the goal with the online space do a hundred thousand in online business. So that would take me to a 300,000 mark. And then from there, baby, I made it and then pay off my debt. I do have a little bit of debt because before 2023 and 2022, I was jumping around company to company and trying to not get screwed by contractors. People owed me money this year. People owed me money last time. And basically, I dug a hole for myself. And because I reinvested back into the business, it didn't make sense to pay off that debt. I did the numbers and I'll explain to you guys how I made those numbers later. I have a couple of debt that I need to pay off, but they're going to get paid off. I don't want to pay them off too early because I like to keep my cash um, ready in case something comes up. Like, say, for example, if I find a business that's willing to be sellable, and I have $30,000 ready to just like put into something, then I'm ready to put into something. Or if I have a property that may go ahead and figure out this taxes because $300,000 income is fucking crazy because you're going to have to pay a lot of taxes on that as well. So I'm looking into real estate maybe now to go ahead and go hand in hand with my taxes because I'm running out of fucking tax shelter things. I just call it tax shelter things. Anyways, so that's the fourth goal, buy another business or buy into another business or maybe a property, right? I'm even looking at Costa Rica. Costa Rica, I heard is popping. So maybe long-term investment holding in Costa Rica is something good. I'm actually going to Costa Rica next year. It's a done deal. I need to go to Costa Rica. I want to see what the life is like there because if I'm going to buy property in another country, I want to travel there first. So Costa Rica, if you want to go to Costa Rica, hit me up. I'll be out there. Don't be broke. And the last, last goal that I have, which is something that I've been wanting to do for quite a while now, but I'm waiting to make sure that my friend or the business guy that I'm working with gets to 100 figures before I create this group, which is called the Audacious Few. So I'm creating a community called the Audacious Few. I want to get that to 50 members. I'm probably going to drop a course around like March time, April time, just because I'll have more time. I'm currently working on it, but I want to drop a level zero course where like you fix your mind, understand money, and you get out of like level zero and start heading to level one. So I'm going to create a course where you can get out of level zero and start heading into level one. Level one would be where I was at last year. I would say I'm on level two right now, and then I'll go to hopefully level three after this by levels. I mean, levels. I mean, if you're making under a hundred thousand, that's level zero. This is for like business people. If you're like happy with your job, like by all means, go do whatever it is that you want. If you just here for the mindset stuff, then that's fair. Like cool. Get in shape, get your mind right. Don't think money's enough because it's not enough. Anyways, level zero is like, just say you're getting out of level zero. So you're going to get to your first hundred thousand. That's level zero. And then from level one to level two is getting to 200, 250,000. And then from level two, to level three i would say i'm calling it three to four hundred and then from level four it's gonna be like half a million and then i honestly stopped counting at that point because like who cares but that's just me you know yes so i'm gonna create a course around like april to get you guys out of level zero in regards of like mindset fixing your habits, fixing your discipline, all these little things that can just save you time. I'm not going to go ahead and reinvent 
the wheel. I'm not going to go ahead and create something brand new. I'm going to brand it like something a little crazy so you guys can get the gist and it sounds cool and I can market it correctly. But a lot of this stuff that I'm just going to create is things that can just save you time because that's all I can possibly do is just save you time. I'm just saving you time. You can go ahead and buy the same books that I've read over the last freaking years, buy all the courses I bought, buy new courses, learn from somebody else. I bought courses. I've read tons of books. In fact, I just fucking realized that I read over 30 books this year. I read about two books a month. I see so many podcasts. I see about like three, five podcasts a day because I'm always on the road. So I'm constantly, constantly, constantly learning. I learn so fast, so, so fast that that's how I'm able to get to the level that I'm at at such a young age. I want to put everything that I've done for myself and what I'm currently doing for this other guy on how I got myself to six figure, how I got that guy to six figures and how I'm going to get a couple more people to six figures because it's really just mindset of a little bit of like understanding how money works in regards to personal finance and then just learning that there is a bunch of opportunities out there because there is bro like there's so much opportunities on the world where like dude if i was like to just be able to multiply myself i'll be able to have like at least 20 freaking businesses or like so much more it's just the manpower that it takes to run all these businesses like i wish there was more of me but there's not so the best thing i could do is i can multiply myself by creating the dashes few that's the whole goal is to create little mini versions of myself where i can pick and put my hands into it where it's a small community i don't want to make it too big or whatever it is but it's probably going to be like a one-time subscription maybe a monthly subscription where i give you the course and i hold weekly meetings of things that you guys want to go over to get you guys out of level zero and this is in regards of personal branding business fucking whatever dude whatever talk about life whatever it is that you're struggling with i've gone through so much shit in my life that dude for a young age that i have i've been around the block let's just say that so i can help you with pretty much everything will you like my answers do i know all the answers probably not probably won't because i'm a different type of coach i would say i'm guess i'll call myself a coach but either way i want to get the dashes through going getting off the ground i also have that personal training thing off the ground build that community there that's pretty much my goals for the year nothing too crazy just following the same game plan probably stay in the same apartment unless one of the things take off i might move to another apartment kind of like another thing that i'm considering uh maybe just stay here I'm also really trying to dig into the fitness thing. So it's not really a goal, but it's kind of like new things that I want to set for myself where like, dude, I want to get in the best shape of my freaking life. So I need to get more disciplined to not working out because I work out very consistently, but like eating this year, 2023, dude, don't like judge me, but I barely learned what macros are. I barely learned what a protein was, what a carb was, what a fat was, good fats, bad fats, good carbs, bad carbs. Dude, I didn't know any of that. I was freaking raised in the hood by a single mother who's hispanic and nobody teaches that any of that stuff like i learned the hard way dude i did not learn carbs proteins and fats until like now like someone would tell me you gotta eat more protein I'm like bro i don't even know what that is i didn't know chicken was protein yeah like not to the extent that i know it now like measuring the food i ordered meal preps to kind of get me the gist of the discipline of how much i should be eating i learned that skill this year and next year i'm gonna double down on it i already know what i'm gonna be eating i'm gonna probably bulk up like crazy because right now my, just, i'm gonna cut into like the end of january and then from there on i'm just gonna go on a full-on four-month cycle bulk of like clean bulking not no dirty bulking but like really put on some size and then just cut to the end of the year and by the end of 2024 i think i'm gonna look really really nice where like take your girl bro that's kind of my goals for 2024 nothing too crazy i would set the same goals for you guys like let's say for example if you're like at level zero my one and only goal i would set two goals if I was at level zero, I would set two goals, right? If I was at level zero, the first goal would be to get in the best shape of my life because it wasn't in stores really started diving into like working out which was like back in like i don't even remember when i was in college when i really I used to make these old videos but dial down on your fitness because once you dial down on your fitness getting your mind in, sh in shape getting your body in shape you start thinking a little bit better you start walking around with your chest up in the air you start getting a little bit more courage you start believing that you can do anything that you want so working out is the very first thing and if you want to go ahead and start working out with me we are soon going to be working on that make sure you guys follow me on instagram because i post a lot there more often so yes get your body right so just freaking get in shape lose 30 pounds gain some muscle that should be your number one goal 
right? Your second goal would be to get to like, if you're at level zero, bro, make sure you start like, I would say get to five grand, learn how to make $5,000 in a month. And then you can jump to the 10 because doing the jump to zero to five is freaking freaking hard. That's why I don't like to work with people who are level zero because that's too freaking hard. It's annoying. It's just tedious. And I don't want to deal with that. But I do like that little middle part where people are at, where you're at anywhere from like four to six and you're from four to six. I can easily get you to 10. Like that's an easy switch from four to six is an easy switch from 10 to 20. I would say it takes a little bit more work, but you can get there from 20 to 40. I'm figuring that out right now. And I'm like working with some other people. And I think I've already figured it out based on the people I bought courses from. It shouldn't take too long, but yeah, yeah, those will be my one and only two goals that I would have. Obviously, non-negotiables, stop hanging out with loser friends, stop drinking, stop smoking weed, stop being lazy, start doing what you say you're going to be doing. Do all these little things, dude, you'll be fine. You'll come back to this video in 2024 and you'll realize that, dude, I got everything that I wanted. My life is completely different in just one year. I tell people, if you go ahead and dedicate your life for just one year, one year of hard work, at the end of that year, you'll be a completely different person. And then the following year and then the following year and then the following year. Don't think it's going to be a couple of months, a couple of days. Like, no, this thing takes time, bro. Like, I didn't get here to, what, level two until freaking seven, eight years now, dude. It's been a long time. But I've noticed that I get to the next goal even faster because I've gained so many freaking skills along the years that now they just multiply. Now they go hand in hand with each other where it all makes freaking sense. And that's when the course that I'm, like, going to drop, I'm going to put everything that I learned and I just, I just bro you'll freaking save so much time it's ridiculous but that's pretty much it this is how you are going to win your 2024 guys so if you have any questions comments concerns leave them down in the bottom if you haven't done so already make sure you like subscribe tell your friends about it tell your mamas about it tell your grandmas about it the don't get nailed podcast don't get screwed by life it's your host chris mo i'll see you guys next time bye